Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zerai here. So today I wanted to talk about Cyberpunk 2077 and where is this hate is just simply coming from. First of all, I want to mention Merry Christmas everybody. Hopefully you had a fantastic time, day and with your family, even with the, well, circumstances that's what's going on in the world and how 2020 has been around as well. But yeah, hopefully the 2021 will be a better uh, year compared to 2020. But as everything is going, it does not seem like that might be the case. Well, let's get out of the way and little bit, talk a little bit about more of the cyberpunk. Now, I'm getting this kind of messages and comments on my videos that I made about cyberpunk and my community tab page as well, and just a lot of people in general, not a lot, but in some capacity at least, everyone's just like, you know, pure hating the game for no reasons. All they say like, oh, graphically looks garbage, uh, storytelling is awful, and clearly you already know that they are full of shit, and they're just simply out there just to hate on the game. It's understandable, you know, they're pure haters, what you should do is simply ignore them. I simply laugh and then just ban them if they are right, just being annoying uh, at this point. But still, you know, it's understandable. People are people, they do whatever they do you know, on the internet. But I definitely want to touch on uh, with the understandable circumstances what's been going on with the game, especially when people that, you know, were so hyped for the game and yet when they got the game it was just a pure disappointment in a lot of, a lot of aspects. And so, you know, hitting the game is sort of a getting on the bandwagon and just going with it. You know, it's it's a very popular thing to do because hitting the game, that's what everyone's doing at the moment. You know, and that's just, it's not understandable reason. The game is fantastic. It really is. If you cannot see that, then you have a problem that you did not play the game or because you want to be a part of those haters or perhaps you're blind. That's not a case. Now, in case, again, guys, I'm being, you know, I'm just talking a little bit about it. I'm not saying literally in the cases of this, but here's the literal cases then. Delays, investors pay, money, all this stuff it has been played in the background. Delayed game after it was from the April, then to September, November, then yet again to December of the release of this game. Obviously, it paid, it, you know, it played a big part of this and a lot of people were losing confidence into this game. Uh, but CD Projekt Red has reassured time and time again, saying the game is going to be fantastic, it's ready when it's going to be ready. They even mentioned in their one of the very first trailers that they ever released as well. But clearly the game was never ready. On top of that, the lawsuit action that's going on at the moment that they have lied throughout regarding of the game with the misinformation uh, before the game's release, that a lot of things actually never made an appearance as well. And yeah, it, it's understandable, a lot of ways. I'm not gonna defend them about that. Like, I'm not an idiot of defending and seeing that clearly they have said some things that was far-fetched and that never made an appearance. And as such, it is disappointing, it truly is. And I'm not trying to be a blind fa a fanboy about this too. As if I see an issue in the game, I'm gonna straight up and say it, that there is some kind of problems. And here we are, we're getting and discussing about them. They've, and they have promised too many things and yet they never delivered. You know, car customizations in some aspects. Now even though they have stated out uh, uh, other words that okay there will be no more car customizations even though it's kind of you know disappointing and I'm sure maybe they sometime in the future they perhaps you know, uh, shall introduce it but who knows, who knows at that point of course. But then we have to get into the aspects of the marketing, okay? Marketing for this game was done, it was done pretty well, I gotta say, but they have hit a lot of things, especially talking about the older gen consoles. Older gen consoles, as the from the release of this game, was simply outrageous. It, w it truly was. CD Projekt Red has hid the facts that the game is buggy, it's glitchy, it's not ready, and they sold the game like that, and they got such a big big profit out of this. On the first day they already made all their money back, including the profit now, uh, but also a lot of people were left completely disappointed with how much bugs, glitches and issues that this game faced. And that's an issue. Even if you are experiencing this game on your next gen consoles or your PC, that's, those things are not excluded in this case. They have issues too. I'm playing this game on my PlayStation 5 and I'm yet having issues still. Even with after three hotfixes that this game received, I'm still having crashing issues after a couple of hours of play. And it is irritating. But I gotta say, with the hotfixes, the game is already much better in, in the state. But that was never the case of why it should have released in that way. They should have waited. But 
they had no options of waiting any longer. Investment is important because that's where they get the money and that's how they're going to be able to continue making the game and with the development. And then they say that there will be no crunching a couple of years back. And they had to kind of go back on the ward and basically they had to crunch the damn game for a couple of months. I believe it was like two to three months they had to go on a crunch mode. And you see they had, like pretty much everyone's saying, oh, they lied about this. Again, what is their development of any games out there that don't have crunch? That's just realistic. It's world. It's work. It's normal. You have your own work and you have to do some kind of crunch or some people are lucky enough not to have any crunch in their work. It's not like it is out of the ordinary not to have crunch. I'm not saying it's important to have crunch. Yes, you can have an environment and you can be working in some places that has no crunch. It's understandable. Again, um, uh, crunch is a little bit of a not correct wording for this case. Uh, because, right, let me, because it's understandable of a lot of people ways, I'm gonna continue using this word. Crunch is, is, is ideal. Crunch is even mandatory in a lot of work. You may not experience it because perhaps you're somewhat used to it. It's just the case. If you're working it like in work, like 40 hours, like again, if you don't, if you take it easy with those 40 hours of work, would you, do you consider this crunch? You know what I mean? If you work over time and you get paid, is that crunch? You know what I mean? It's, it's a standard. It's standard nowadays and people don't see this. It's become so like a toxic word. Uh, of itself like crunch crunch you know what i mean but yeah let's get back into the topic of hand and mention that again yes cd project red has not mentioned anything regarding of the last gen consoles of the issues that this game is gonna have with the bugs and issues thankfully they are refunding the game then there's some issues going on with the playstation completely removing the game from the store lawsuit actions that i mentioned already because of the lies that went through as well microtransactions that we'll be having for its uh, an online mode it's not even a mode more like a standalone mode in fact so it's gonna be a much bigger project on that front the game is gonna be getting fixed as well and on top of that cd project red has time and time again and again apologize for their misinformation misdeeds that they have uh, done for this game a lot of people don't want to forgive them for it but as well a lot of people had uh, very high expectations because mind you the witcher 3 witcher 3 when that came out of first back in 2015 the game was buggy as hell and glitchy too people don't remember this because obviously in a lot of ways cd project red was never really known back then until a lot of people have tried out the witcher 3 and they found out that cd project red is a heaven sort of a studio and now a lot of people putting that kind of expectations like the Witcher 3 was into the CD, uh, well, Cyberpunk 2077, it's not exactly realistic. Even the, uh, well, the developers are extremely talented in this case too, but you have to understand if they, uh, with the time and time of the development that they had with this game were about five years and a lot of people say, oh, it was a development of eight years. No, that's bullshit because the, uh, that's not true. The development started in, in 2016 full-time development i'm talking about for cyberpunk 2077 i'm sure a lot of people will start arguing and tell me well the first appearance of the uh, cyberpunk was 2012 2013 for his trailer and stuff like that again that was just more pre-development basically just just gathering ideas and stuff like that you know brainstorming but never truly went into full development after a wrap-up of the witcher 3 uh, the last dlc i believe was blood and wine even though after all this has been happening for CD Projekt Red, uh, yeah, they'll be updating the game, of course. Now, if you want to experience this game all for yourself and have a fantastic time, wait a couple months. Like seriously, I would argue to say wait, wait till April. By that time, the game is going to be a, in a far better state. In fact, I'll say that's the way it was supposed to come out in the beginning of thing. Uh, well, of course. Still, it is disappointing. I'm not going to deny that. But you know i'm gonna have to say that um, you know blind hate on this game is simply just because hating is a very popular thing to do on, C on cd project red and all the hate is going towards the developers on top of that it just makes no sense higher ups are the issue those that ones are calling the shots of the delay uh, of the uh, the release of the game and when they had to release it because of the uh, investors because they were losing the patience because the merchandise wasn't doing as good or whatever right you know, that's their only uh, reason, their own problems, that they should be the ones receiving all this backlash, not the developers. What is the issue with the developers in this case? They're doing their damn job. And what they managed to do here, and everything that I've experienced already of Cyberpunk, 
It is an incredible game. It really is. It's a similar scope to Witcher 3, even though I'll argue to say I don't believe it is better than Witcher 3. I just don't believe that. But that's my opinion. Again, I, I, maybe I shouldn't say these things, if, at least not in this commentary. I'll say because I prefer third person. I don't necessarily like too much of the first person aspect. And I 100% think that this game could have uh, went with a third person aspect. 100%. It works and it, uh, there were no issues, I personally think. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. Third person could have worked. But again, that's just my opinion. Anyway, guys, I don't, there's nothing else. At this point, I'm just dragging on. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys all. Have a good one.